So back in 2018, if you can even remember back that far, I actually made a video about Switch's outlook for 2019 and how it was going to be the best year ever for Nintendo Switch when it came to game releases. And in many ways, the year mostly lived up to those expectations as the final six months of 2019 was really packed like maybe the most packed in console history for Switch. From Astral Chain to Pokemon Sword and Shield and everything in between. Luigi's Match 3, uh, the list goes on and on. It turned out to be an absolutely amazing year. Heck, the Switch Lite came out. <laughs> Even as some of the anticipated games, like Doom Eternal, we are still waiting for right now in 2020. But before I get into this, before I tell you why 2021 is going to be the best year for Switch yet, I got to remind you of our giveaways. We got a couple giveaways going on. One is for a Nintendo Switch PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X. The other is for two copies of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Uh, like, subscribe, comment on videos. That's that's cool and everything. Also, go down in the description to find other ways to enter. All right, let's get into the rest of the video. After we naturally had a bit of a down year in 2020, despite some great releases like Animal Crossing New Horizons, even Paper Mario, what does 2021 actually have in store? Why, only the greatest year in Nintendo Switch history to date. Of course, this couldn't come at a better time, with it being the first full year for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X as well. Remember, next gen, baby. But Switch is positioned to destroy the sales charts yet again in 2021. Coming up a record sales year in 2020, by the way. Switch dominated this year. Let's not forget, like, despite the, the lack of releases, Switch is dominating on the sales charts. But it all starts with the smoke that is definitely a fire when it comes to the Nintendo Switch quote-unquote Pro. Whatever Nintendo decides to actually call it, probably a new Nintendo Switch to be honest. All signs are pointing to a new model that's more powerful in one way or another arriving next year. What I can do is anyone's guess to be completely honest, but any year that has a launch of new hardware, like 2019 did with the Switch Lite, is typically a really good year. But as always, hardware is nothing without games. So let's start with the games we already know are coming to Switch next year. No More Heroes 3 is currently slated for 2021. Hmm, that's actually a pretty enticing game for fans of the prior two games. Started on the Wii back in the day, and it's exclusive by the way. Shin Megami Tensei 5 is also coming exclusively to Switch next year. A big deal for all those, you know, SMT and Persona fans out there. Heck, speaking of Persona, we have Persona 5 Scramble coming as well in 2021. So there you go. Like, you're going to get some Japanese love out there for some games. Rune Factory 5 was recently announced for next year as well as, hey, Balan Wonderland. You know, be, be big fan of the Knights series? Well, the guy behind that is making this, and it looks really, really good. So, you know, maybe you want to check that out. I know for many of you, these might not seem like actual major releases, um, but they're actually really excellent games that can help fill out a calendar year when you're looking for something new to play. Beyond that, we have Lord of the Rings Gollum, and that is slated to land on Switch next year, and it's one of the major AAA games that's going to next-gen that's also coming to Switch. So it's like a next-gen game coming to Switch, one of the few that we are aware of, might be the only one we're aware of right now. Uh, that's really, really cool. Overwatch 2 was also announced for Switch, and is supposed to be coming next year as well. Obviously, we got the first Overwatch. Overwatch 2 is a big deal, a nice game. Uh, that's going to be fun to play next year. Also, hey, LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga is coming in 2021. And I got to tell you, I actually saw this game in person at E3. And I, I mean, just off that alone, I can tell you, it is the best, most well-made lego game ever made and the legos legos had a lot of excellent entries but this lego game i'm telling you if you are a star wars fan and you're really into lego games this is gonna be the best one ever made it's it's insane the amount of work that has gone into it heck that's why it's been delayed not just because of covid it they literally are making this the biggest and best lego game ever we obviously can't forget more recent announcements of course monster hunter rise comes next year on march 26th I know we're thinking that might be around the time the Switch Pro comes out. Uh, we also have Monster Hunter Stories 2, which is supposed to come later next year as well. I think in the third quarter or so. Uh, but, you know, both are really top-tier games coming exclusively to Switch next year from Capcom. So that's really exciting stuff. This is all stuff that we know is happening, folks. We haven't even touched upon Nintendo stuff. Like, 
crazy. We know Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury is coming next year. New content in a Wii U port. That's really exciting stuff right there. But there's also a lot of stuff we haven't had announced from Nintendo yet. Nintendo hasn't given us a ton for what we can expect in 2021. But we know next year is Zelda's 35th anniversary. And based on what Nintendo did for Mario, I mean, it's highly likely Zelda's going to get very similar treatment next year, too. So... Breath of the Wild 2, now it's back in E3 2019, seems like an excellent candidate for a 35th anniversary release next year, and does seem highly likely with Age of Calamity prequel coming this year, as does a collection of older Zelda titles of some type, whether it's the top-down ones, whether we're talking about the Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD, Skyward Sword HD, whatever Nintendo decides to do, we're going to get a bunch of Zelda love next year. Remember, that anniversary is February 21st of 2021. Also, Metroid, by the way, has an anniversary next year. I mean, you know, it's 35th anniversary. I don't know if that means we're going to get Metroid Prime 4 next year. Maybe we will. I don't want to, you know, say it's impossible. Uh, but I, I don't feel like we're going to. But even if we don't get Metroid Prime 4 next year, I do believe we're going to get HD up version of the Metroid Prime trilogy. That's been rumored to exist forever. And a 35th anniversary release would make a lot of sense. Bayonetta 3. It hasn't been seen since it was announced back in, I believe, December of 2017 at the Game Awards. For crying out loud. That's so long ago. And Platinum Games keeps saying the development is going well. Well, if the development has been going well this entire time, and given when it was announced, 2021 should be the release date for Bayonetta 3. So, there you go. I know not necessarily Nintendo made, but Nintendo published. Uh, but what else could be on deck? A new Pokemon game should be ready to go. After all, we've been getting Pokemon games every year, except this year when we got DLC. I'm talking about it on the main line. So, uh, we got DLC this year that should line up next year to be yet another new Pokemon game. As we saw with Pokemon Sword and Shield, disappointed or not, it sold really, really well. A new Pokemon game is at least going to hit 10 million, if not more. So there you go. That's obviously a big, big deal. But what else could be coming? Well, the timing actually seems right for another Mario game. Whether it's a Mario Odyssey 2, after all, we had the first one back in 2017. Um, or, you know, kind of like we got with Mario Galaxy 2. Or even a major ace in the whole like game. Such as Mario Kart 9. We haven't had a new Mario Kart game in forever. Like, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is just a Wii U port. So, that could certainly be a massive system seller midway through the system's life. Um, a new Mario Party game shouldn't really be ruled out either. Uh, they didn't do DLC for the last one, and it sold incredibly well, and they usually churn them out every couple years. So, that would make a lot of sense to have another Mario Party game, too. There's obviously going to be other games announced along the way. I could speculate for days and days about the actual possibilities, but what is already known is already exciting enough to me, and we're not even past holiday 2020 yet, you know, when Nintendo could drop a Direct or, or, or more announcements for 2021. Uh, honestly, everything is really shaping up to be the best year yet for Switch, and it's insane when you consider we're coming off the highest sales year for Switch, so far anyways, we have yet to see what holiday is going to do, uh, and we have yet to see what Nintendo even has fully announced for next year. Just what we already know about is exciting enough in that of itself. It is crazy to think that Nintendo could somehow top 2019, top 2017. Those are, like, by consensus, the best years for Switch yet. And 2021? 2021 could be better than all of that? Those are some, some big shoes to fill. So... Let's just say there's a lot of hope and a lot of hype for 2021. I am Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. Be sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I will catch you in the next one.